ask, when you were somewhat physically able last year, did you really want to play? How hard was that to sit out, Robert? I wanted to play. I mean, it, it was very difficult to sit out, especially when it, came, when it got to the point where uh, I was running full speed straight ahead. I was doing drills with Coach Simon, who's our head strength and conditioning coach. I was feeling really good about those drills, uh, moving side to side, being able to stop on a dime and plant and cut the other way with the knee brace on. Um, and it got to a point in the middle of the season, maybe game six or game seven, where I said, you know, hey, you know, maybe I can come in and help, you know, help us win a, a few, two or three more games here. And um, at the end of the day, after me, I mean, me and Coach Ed Anderson and I met maybe three or four different times, you know, just going back and forth, trying to weigh out the pros and cons of me coming back in the middle of the season in 2010. Would it be beneficial? How beneficial would it be? And, and on the flip side, you know, how it, it, it could hurt me, you know, at the same time. And, and we came to the decision to say, hey, you know what? Just wait. You know, just be patient. Oh, you've been patient long enough, but just continue to be patient. Keep training with Coach Simon. Lori's done a great job, who's our physical therapist there. Um, and, you know, I, I continue to do work with her. I did a lot, a lot of work with Coach Simon. He was able to challenge me. Um, doing certain things on the field uh, to be able to help my, you know, confidence mentally come back. And, uh, you know, I think all in all, at the end of the day, if I look at it, look back on it now, uh, you know, even though we haven't played the 2011 season yet, it's been very, very, very beneficial. For so me. you think you're going to be a better player and mentally, physically, everything else better? Absolutely. I've learned so much. I've learned so much. Just, you know, from from a standpoint of, of – Standing on the sidelines, watching the game from a different angle, from a standpoint of going through something like that, going through a process where you have to continue and continue to be patient every single day when it's, you know, five months later, and then it's seven months later, and then it's eight months later, and then it's nine months later, and you're just getting closer and closer and closer to feeling like you can do what you used to do, but you still can't. You still got to continue to work out. You still got to do the things that you were doing the first month, you know, in the second month and the third month that you're doing in the ninth month to continue uh, uh, to, to, to better, you know, health, uh, better to, to get healthy. So are you, are you physically uh, at where you were? Do you have no problems anything at all? I have no problems at all. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I, are I, you worried about the first hits or the or cotton or any of that kind of stuff? Nope. Like I've said, Coach Simon challenged me while we were doing our training where I, I had to, I had no choice uh, but to stop on a diamond cut, you know. He, he, he took a bag and he hit me right in my knee while I was running and said, you know what, if you're ever going to play again like you want to, you have to challenge yourself and, and you have to do it. You have to do it. You know, everybody, you know, they talk about mentally how it's tough to come back and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's understandable. But if you want to play, you have to get over that. And they were, you know, they were able to help me, the coaches, my teammates, um, Lori were able to help me overcome that. And now I feel stronger and, and better than I was before. So now nobody is chomping at the bit more than for the first game against Auburn for you to get the ball and get out there at the start. But you got Michael Smith, is he going to be back there to help you out? You got Kerwin Williams who played well. This could be a really stock position for Utah State at running back. Absolutely, absolutely. The thing with Michael Smith, um, you know, I see him every day, and, 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 you know, I believe that we've grown a great relationship with one another, and uh, I just tell him to stay positive, you know, stay positive. With the foot, it, it's a very frustrating thing to go to where one day you feel great. You're running, you're cutting, you're full speed, and then the next day you can't do it. The next day you can't do it. It's like you're, you, you, you take a step forward and then you take three steps back, but you've got to stay. But you think he'll get, he'll get to the point where he can help us this year, too? Yes, yes. As long as he stays positive and does what he's supposed to do, which he will, uh, he'll be back this season. Well, because there's no doubt you guys have to take a lot of the, the, the burden of the offense because we've, we're breaking in a new quarterback or we got somebody. But, again, that quarterback does have people like you, and if he can get Austin and Morrison back to help at the receiver spot, a lot of – Questions, I guess, in some people's minds, but there's a lot of weapons there too. Absolutely, and uh, those are, you know, we've actually met as a little as a little group. You know, myself, uh, Alex, and Adam, 
and uh, you know Stanley and Mike and Matt and say, hey, you know we're not going to put all the pressure on the quarterback now. Okay, we got other guys who can make plays. Kerwin is one of those guys. Joy D. Martino's another guy who can help us in the backfield and stuff like that. When plays have to be made during the game, it's up to us to make those plays. Well, Robert, I get the feeling you're the kind of leader that can be a guy to maybe turn around this because at Utah State we've waited so long to have winning football. And the schedule, the way it's set up, I mean, there's some games on there. If we can play like we can play, we can have a winning season and maybe be a bowl team. What's your ex expectations? I agree. I agree 100%. And, you know, with this team right now, we're just excited about the opportunity to go out and compete. We're not going to, you know, we, we, we've talked too long now, okay? Every, I've been here since 2007, and all I've ever tried to do was change the program into a winning program. And all we ever do is say, yeah, we're going to be better. Yeah, we're going to be better. Yeah, we're going to win this year. We're going to win this year. It's time to shut up and just play. It's time to shut up and play. And we're excited about the opportunity to just shut up and play. And again, so who you play, what doesn't make a difference. You've got to play the, what, the best you guys can in these games. But how about playing an Auburn in the first game of the season? <laughs> it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. And those guys, you know, that's a great team. You know, no, you cannot be, you cannot be a great team. And, and win a national championship. I mean, those guys coming off the national championship, granted, they've, they've lost a, play, a key player here and there. Obviously, Cam Newton's gone on to the Carolina Panthers. Um, but, you know, when you have players like that come through your school, um, I think it, it helps and actually improves the players under them. You know, Nick Fairley's another guy who went to uh, Detroit. You know, those, those defensive tackles who were under him and were able to watch him work I think benefits them uh, when they get their opportunity to play. And so, no game film last year, Robert Turbin, though, for them to watch. No, no game film. <laughs> <laughs> they got they, they have a wait in, in 09, but no no game film for them to watch. So uh, I'm excited about the opportunity to play, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can have great success. Well, we're looking forward to again Robert Turbin back doing what he did the, the a year a couple years ago and more. Thanks a lot, Robert. Appreciate you.